guys, Mardi Gras Man 2-3 here, and then we've got a special delivery. And we got this in the mail. Look at that. Lego now welcomes adults. It's taken a long time, but Lego has finally recognized that adults are welcome and that pretty much probably 90% of all Lego is bought by adults. Whether you're buying it for your kids, you're buying it as a gift, or you're buying it for yourself. So why wouldn't they welcome adults? So I thought this was neat. I don't know if this has is, is, uh, been out there, but this is basically the a little catalog uh, for all the, I don't know, I guess you would say large creator models. Um, you got the NASA there. Uh, the Apollo, the Millennium Falcon, the Big Bad Boy. Uh, you got the the Bust, the R two D two. You got the Batwing, which I really wish I had somewhere to put that Batwing because I really like that Batwing. But if I got the Batwing, you'd have to have the uh, Batmobile to go with it. Really like that one. You got the Daily Bugle, which I just ordered for the, with the double VIP, waiting on that one to show up. You got the new Friends apartment and the old Friends Central Perk, which was kind of neat that they made another set. All right, you got the GT, the Ecto 1, the Porsche. The new Adidas sneaker, the Beatles mosaics, the new World Globe mosaic. What are you guys' thoughts on that? I'm not really too into that. I mean, I think all the fanfare is because it's the most pieces, but I mean, it's really, I don't know. I just, the only way I'll buy it is if I find it somewhere really cheap. And then you've got the Coliseum. So all these models are just advertising that they are, I mean, basically it's like a model kit. I mean, when I was a kid, Lego wasn't as popular as it is, but there was a lot of adults that were into model building. And if you went into the Walmart, they had, just like we have a whole aisle of Lego now, there was a whole aisle of models uh glue together models and you know they were they were tedious little parts little kit bashing you actually had to have tweezers for a lot of it model glue the whole nine yards and it was i guess that's kind of a, a lost hobby because you don't see that as much you can find some of them in um like a hobby lobby or something but you don't see it like you used to so anyway, so this other package is from Brick Trains. And I kind of got it. I think I know what this is. The classic purple envelope. So as you can see right there, it's from Brick Trains. And if you don't know, Brick Trains, myself, and Brick Czar, back here falling over. I think he's trying to kick Joey because Joey got his base plate. And he got Joey's base plate. Anyway, we do a podcast, and we do it, it airs on Brick Train's channel every other Friday. We got some stickers, some decals. Those are cool. And then here's what the brand new 2.0 edition of the Brick Trains and Heather Sig Fig. And... Do you guys know what's missing? I don't even think Joey realized what's missing. We are missing a sig fig for the third member of Brick Trains. There they are right there. And the third member of Brick Trains is Dakota. That's right. Dakota needs a sig fig. Dakota loves to be in the videos. Um, he's a big part of the channel. And we need a did we need Dakota Sig Fig. So that is the homework assignment for you, Joey. Get with Dakota and let's get him a Sig Fig. 
So that's it for this one, guys. Really appreciate it. I just wanted to show you this Adults Welcome catalog. I thought that was pretty cool. And of course, the special delivery from Brick Trains with his brand new Sig Figs. By the way, that is custom printed torsos. Nothing on the back. Those are really cool. So now I guess I guess we'll stick them. Should we replace these or should we put them right next to them? Leave me some comments below. Really appreciate all the support, guys. Be sure to check out Joey over at Brick Trains. Be sure to check out our, our A-Fool. I, I think I called it the A-Fall. It's the A-Fool podcast. There is a link in the description down below. Be sure to check him out. Subscribe. We need to get him to 1,000 subscribers. He's getting close. As always, thanks for watching. Really appreciate some support. And we'll see you again. <laughs>